In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a CC Libs file, which is a Creative Cloud library file. Specifically, we're going to install the CHR Swatchbook. If you don't have this already, uh, it's perfect for any wedding invitation designer and it's linked in the description below. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I love to teach people how to start and run successful creative businesses. So if you are a stationer, this is an awesome library for you. But if not, you can create, share, import, export, purchase, sell libraries of all sorts for Creative Cloud. So I'm going to show you how to import yours into Adobe Illustrator, and then it will be available in all the ad other Adobe programs as well. So you're just going to go into Adobe Illustrator. You're going to pull up libraries, which you can do from window libraries. If you don't have it, um, I already have this one installed here, but if you don't, you'll just click here, click import library, select library, and then you're going to go find your file. Ours is in this folder and we have our CC libs file here. We're going to click it. We're going to click import and it's just going to import the entire library as it is from there. When you're importing from a CC libs file, you can make as many changes as you want to the library, whether in here in Illustrator or in your Creative Cloud libraries or in a different Adobe program. And that will stay for your library. It won't affect any of the other libraries. So that's why, for instance, the Stationer Swatchbook is a sold as a file as opposed to shared from Creative Cloud because if you have multiple users on the same library within the Creative Cloud, then any changes that are made are going to affect everyone. This way it won't, so you can adjust, reorganize, delete stuff, add stuff as much as you want. So I hope this helped you get your library installed, whether it's a station or swatchbook or not. If you don't have that yet and you are an invitation designer, I highly recommend it. As you can see, it covers so many different uh, vendors that we use for papers, wax seals, ribbons, as well as handmade papers. And we're updating it pretty regularly, at least once or twice a year. So check that out in the description. And if you have already purchased, I hope you enjoy your station or swatchbook or whatever library it is you install today. Thanks everyone.